Hello, hello, good morning, everybody. So today I will talk to you how you can deploy your and Humbo tool server uh, 2404 over a KVN or uh, virtual environment. So this is what I intend to, to do today. Okay, so first of all, we should of course have deployed before previously a KVM environment in your uh, physical node. Okay, so me, I have already done that. Maybe I will show you the, the video where I have done that also. So right now, after done that, we have another prerequisite that you, that you should have, which is to have a some virtual uh, switch on your environment. Yeah, here I have some a bunch of uh, virtual switch here in my environment, but me particularly I will use this uh, switch. Okay, so my new VM or domain or uh, to take the, the language of the uh, KVM environment, my uh, VM will be connected on the connected on this switch. Okay, so the where am I uh, downloaded the the Ubuntu ISO? I have deployed. I have. Uh, Take it from here, okay? So from this website, I'll take it uh, from this uh, website, uh, and we can go there and download the ISO of your Ubuntu versions, okay? Great. And after I've done that, uh, I have uh, already also downloaded it in my environment. Uh, I don't want to, to do it again, but uh, here is the link that I use uh, for downloading. Yeah. Great. Once done that, I will now show you the uh, the vit install command that I that I will use to deploy my new virtual machine on my over the KVM. Here is the command right now. As you can see, we have the vit command and the name of the, the virtual machine, of the size of the RAM. Okay, it's eight gig of RAM, and we have also the size of the of the drive. I will just choose 100 or, uh, gig of uh, for the disk. Two virtual CPU. Okay, the OS version will be this one, and uh, the network on which my uh, new virtual machine will be connected on. Okay, so here is the, main, the, the network on which it will be connected. And how else I would like to deploy it all from the uh, non uh, graphical mode. Okay, I will use the graphic mode none. Okay, and uh, the, those are optional that I have to 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 specify here. It's permit to me to be once the command has been launched, I will be able to connect her to this uh, deployment process to complete the deployment. Here, this other version uh, show me where I cannot or where where this command can be looking looking for the ISO for the deployment. Yeah. So this is all, so let's proceed. Great, so let's continue on the rich mode. Yeah. So from there, I have to choose the, the language that I will use for during this deployment. I will use uh, English and concern the keyboard. Okay, we have a, a French keyboard. So let's specify it here. And the variant of this French keyboard is other T. Great. Once done that, let's move on. Okay, here the base installation will be in Bluetooth server, so I will let everything at, uh, 
but it is it it is it and now let's configure the networks i have a, i want to configure it manually because i don't have any dhcp here in my environment so uh, manual and the subnet i will have to specify my current subnet And the IP address I intend to uh, to assign to my node. The gateway also. And the DNS. Yeah. I just use the Google DNS. And uh, after done that, yeah, everything's okay for me. Perfect. And uh, yeah, no proxy address. Mm, continue, continue without updating power drive. I will let the default configurations. Okay, so let's go on. Let's move on. Right now, we are name. I will just use student. Just to, and the server name, I will say, uh, because I will use it for another uh, demo, okay? Or like uh, this, the Kubernetes uh, deployment. So I will use uh, just this one, uh, CP1, yeah. The user name, uh, server name, pick up a username, I will use again students. And uh, the password, the password will be, uh, let's choose the same things. I don't want to complicate myself, students. Yeah. Once done that, uh, let's move on. Okay, skip now. I have to click. Okay, choose, don't forget to choose this one. Because if you don't do, you don't do that, okay, you will not be able to SSH of your server. Okay. I think I mean everything is okay now. Uh, I will not choose another thing. I don't need another additional packet, so I will move on. We're done. Yeah. Now everything is okay. It is very fast, and uh, just we just have to wait for the to deployment to be completed. Okay, great. Now I can reboot it. Just tap enter to restart the system. Great. Now your new Virtual machine has been successfully installed. Let's test the login. Great. Perfectly. Okay. Yeah. So I can uh, get out from here. Let's test of uh, SSH. Uh, student uh, at.
40 grids. So guys, this is all for that I can hit the common version list to the list of your node. Yeah, as you can see, I can have my new node here. So this is it. So thank you very much, uh, everybody. So I hope that it will be a very, it is a short tutorial for you. And uh, I hope that you will gather much more information here. So if this tutorial pleased you, please don't forget to let me comment. Or if you need another things from me, uh, you can also let a comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the video. It helps us to grow the channel again. And thank you very again for all every person who support us. Support us. Thank you very much. So take care and bye from now.